Two Central Oregon congressional lawmakers are at the heart of the impeachment effort of Secretary of Homeland Security. Blake Mayfield spoke with Cliff Bentz and Lori chavez Zarimer. Is he following the law um, that is in place, one, uh, and we don't believe so, and two, um, has he breached the public trust? Oregon Republicans are sounding off about the recent approval of articles of impeachment for Alejandro Mayorkas. He's been the Homeland Security Secretary for three years. Impeachment articles were approved Wednesday by the House Homeland Security Committee. The uh, allegations are that he obstructed uh, Congress in its job of making sure that he was actually obeying the law, that he uh, didn't tell the, the truth or perhaps stated that the border was secure when in fact it was not. Mayorkas is accused of violating immigration laws requiring detention of all migrants, as well as breach of the public trust. Republicans point to the crisis going on at the southern border and the failure of the secretary to secure it. While we're not a border state, we are being completely impacted by the lack of uh, leadership under um, Mayorkas. In November, a motion to impeach Mayorkas failed to pass, with the House voting to defer the resolution to the House Homeland Security Committee. The new sets of articles are dramatically improved over those which we saw in November. This time around, people like Michael Shertoff, a Republican who led the Department of Homeland Security under President Bush, wrote in an op-ed that House Republicans have failed to put forth evidence that meets the bar. But it only takes a couple, given how small our, our majority is, uh, to prevent the, the articles from passing. So it's my hope that everybody will support these articles. The lawmakers disagree with accusations that the effort to impeach Mayorkas is revenge for Democrats impeaching and indicting former President Trump. That's nonsense to me. You can't tell me what I haven't seen. I've been to the border. I've been to Arizona. I've been to Texas. I know what I saw. I know what we're seeing every single day. Our governor, as I mentioned before, just did a 90-day emergency because of the fentanyl crisis. I think it's a huge excuse for them to be pointing at uh, President Trump, which they do every chance they get to excuse their many failures to address uh, these millions of people coming across the border. If the House votes to impeach Mayorkas, it'll then go to the Senate floor where Mayorkas will be on trial. Also, he was born in Cuba. He's the first refugee and first person born in Latin America to lead the Department of Homeland Security. I know uh, the statistics go back a couple of months. Do you know the numbers of people crossing the southern border, say, in December? Yeah, so according to Border Protection, almost a quarter of a million people were apprehended in December. That is the largest number for a single month since they started tracking the data in 1999. Interesting. Okay, thank you very much, Blake.